Things, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to World of Tanks. Today with day three of the advent calendar, and today, as you can see, there is the T3485 Rudy that came previously in one of the uh, Berlin invasion packages. This tank being a special version, or actually just a normal version, but we come to that later of the T3485. Uh, the version of a famous Polish TV show. What was it? Two tankers and a dog? Something like that. We'll come to that later as well. What you get today is the tank itself, one garage slot, as always, and 1650 gold for 1999. We'll take a look at the tank in game, of course. And straight away we can say it is a very simple and normal T3485. Let's compare it quickly to the other T3485 so we know that I'm not talking crap. So where is it? Where are you? There we are. T3485 with the 85mm gun. Better turret, better radio, engine, and tracks. And now I have to get it all out of the way because we need to take a look at the second T3485. By the way, if you wonder about the HD model, the Rudy shares the model with the Type 58. So they look rather similar. I never even played that one. So radio engine and tracks. So Chinese. Just give me a second to sort this out. And here we are back. I kind of misplaced the engine of the Chinese tank, but meh, who needs that anyway? Um, quick compare on the bot uh, on the top left. It's always Chinese, Russian, and Rudy. So as you can see, um, the hit points I can tell since uh, those both don't have the upgraded turret, but I just guess they will be a little more on the Chinese since it gets a better turret at some point. And therefore, the Russian tanks both will probably have the same HP. Uh, weight is also not comparable. The engine is 500 uh, HP on all, but that is without the upgraded engine. As, and as you can see, it gets 600 horsepower on the Russian T3485. So I just take a wild guess and say it will get about the same on the Chinese tank as well. Top speed is uh, the same. Traverse speed is 42 on uh, the Rudy and goes up to 38 for the Russian and 42 for the Chinese. So the Russian tank actually lacking behind, but only four degrees. Noticeable? Mm, maybe, but with more horsepower, you at least can go faster. So that is something. Interestingly, they all use the same radio, which is uncommon. Normally, the premium tanks have a worse radios but that well works out view range is 365 for rudy 360 for the russian 370 even for the chinese hall armor is exactly the same question mark exactly the same for all three of them most important thing though gun and there we have the chinese with the 128 millimeter average penetration 144 for russian and rudy they basically have the same gun rudy just aims a little bit faster and it's lighter firing speed is more on the chinese but all in all what we're getting as at even with all the in-depth comparison what you see is it is basically a standard T-34-85 tank. What it got that the others 
don't have though is it has the handprints of the crew on the side and on the front and a little footprint of the tank's dog and that's why because it actually has a fifth crew member Charik how are you pronounce that they get a little history on the tank and you can click on him and he barks the thing is if you get six cents on the tank and you spot a tank it will not just do the normal beep beep sound you get when you spot an enemy tank but you will get a little bark makes it the tank special if it's enough to justify buying the tank is a different story I got it well I got a German Shepherd so I have to have the tank let's jump into the match and give you at least a little bit of the impression on how it drives I think I got a hundred percent school uh, crew already yeah I even got brothers in arms because that tank originally came with a full trained crew of brother in arms they even have the names of the TV series crew as far as I know I never watched it actually I think it was still black and white I watched some watched the intro on YouTube do we have any other Rudies no we don't we are in a tier 7 match which is okay still hard to do doesn't have preferential matchmaking this much I know just in normal tier 6 tank oh we're in a platoon with some killer dudes well at least they have a lot of matches played it's better than nothing so where do we go oh yeah there we have the normal t3485 as comparison they look rather similar aside from the little thing on the back of the turret. but yes as you can see he can't run away from us basically same speed Yeah, we even have some we have the barrels on the back and the side. I will stick to him. See what we both can do together. Yeah, it's coming in pretty quick. I don't want to die alone up front. We'll be careful at that, at that point. there yet there is another t43 even it's the predecessor to our tank so we can get shot at we didn't we even can. scratch oh. them yes oh thank you you idiot ah basically Like you really need to go directly behind another tank in that fat stupid tank of yours so let's see we have two m5 stewards in front of me or with one m5 steward and behind us from this point of view nothing over there as you can see on the blue line of the radar view range is pretty impressive Crossing the river. Let's see if we can put one into his lower places. Oh. Ah. Could go after him, but we'll get shot from the side here by this. Oh, no. Oh. Hellcat. Yeah, he's waiting for me. Going so we didn't penetrate their armor. I'm sure I can shoot faster than him. Penetration, yes, we we've can. torched him and we set him on fire. Oh, nope. 27 just around the corner. Okay, come on, tiger, do it. T29, there's a tiger behind you. We've lost the track. We nope. didn't penetrate. 
That was a bit greedy, I will admit that, but there he goes. Did he bounce off me? Or did he change it? Stupid. Let's see if the VK is still here. Yes, it is. I don't know what he's doing, but I don't mind. Come on. It was a luck shot, I will admit that. Gotcha. And that was the T-43. And yes, I know, you can comment that, but I shouldn't go out there. Come on, come on. We've lost the track. They're knocked out. Now it's time to return. I don't know where the Kalkat is, but it is really annoying me. Probably sitting on somewhere back here. Ow! Yes, I'm going, I'm going. I get the message, thank you. Probably sitting at the corner and not moving is something more for heavy tanks. I'm not the best. I'm stuck, come on! Stupid Haycat will probably shoot me if it sees me. I don't thank him for telling locations because it is unsportsmanlike. It doesn't matter if you're losing or not, doesn't matter if he's camping or not, it's just not fair. I know you don't need to be proud of that. Not sure if it changes something or not, but there are people who won games sitting in the bush and wait. And from my point of view, World of Tanks is not Counter Strike, that if you can camp, you normally have a reason for it. But that's a whole other thing to discuss, so let's not go into that too much. Oh, and I missed him. But it's a Hellcat. Can move pretty fast from A to B without much trouble. I just need to see that he doesn't one shot me. Let's see if we can get one more kill in. 46 HP. How much does Hellcat have? 320? Now we'll probably get some angry messages from one of my watchers. This guy, you know, gun has way more. There goes the F. We ran, of course. Weird little British thing. How do you call it? Bird? I just sit around the next corner waiting to snipe me. Or anyone else for that matter. And there we go, one with cap. So, yeah, you get a normal Type 3485. If you want it for the paintings on it, go for it, but it's not really something totally special. Out of the triple pack, that came with the IS-2 and the Cromwell B. Uh, they were all pretty unremarkable from that point of view, but it's a normal tier 6. If you like it, if you want it for the crew training and the premium options, go for it. But otherwise, nothing really special. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.